So when we're adding subtracting radicals, we need to have what we call like radicals. Or in other words, we need to make sure that the radical part of the expression is the same. And we can only determine this if this is in the, in the reduced term or simplified radical, okay, or the mixed number, or the mixed radical form. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do first is we have to take out the perfect squares factors. So in this case, there's a perfect square factor of 36. Okay, and there's two groups of 36. So we're going to end up with 6 root 2 plus. Here there's a perfect square factor of 25. So we take that out and we're left with 2 in the radical part. So we have then 6 root 2s and 5 root 2s. If we are talking about we are talking about adding up root 2 values, the number of root 2s. I have 6 root 2s here, 5 root 2s here. So I can add the, the count up, the number of root 2s we have. We have 11, and since we are counting root 2s, we're going to have 11 groups of root 2. Here we, can, we have to simplify this. So 20 has a perfect square factor of 4, so we factor that out. Square root 4 is 2 and we're left with 5 in the radical portion. Here we have a perfect square of 16, so we factor that out in square root, we end up with 4, and we're left with 5 in the radical part. So here then we can say that we have two root 5s and we're going to take away four root 5s, Well, we're counting root 5s, so we're going to end up with negative two root 5s. Okay, so again, we're, when we talk about 2 times root 5, we're talking about 2 groups of root 5, 4 groups of root 5. And when we talk about groups, we can add and subtract those groups. As long as those groups are the same, represent the same thing. So when we talk about, we start a change of the index. So the index is the root, in this case, this is a square root. Here we have a cube root. So we've changed what we call the index. Okay, so that little number there is called the index. When we do that, we need to take out perfect cubes out of the radical here. Okay, so I have to look, I have to know my perfect cubes. So in this case here, we have to kind of know what our perfect cube numbers are. So cube, perfect cube of one is one, perfect cube of two is eight, the perfect cube of three is 27. Well, 135 happens to be a multiple of 27. So what I can do then is I can rewrite this as cube root 27 times 5. Okay, so 27 times 5 gives me 135. Then we have to look for perfect cubes of, uh, in this case, 320. Okay, so if I, I can see, if I know my perfect cube of 2, we can see that there is a factor of 8 that we can divide into here. So I can, re, I can write it like this, 8 times 40. Now, some of you may have recognized this already, but some of you may have recognized that uh, 64 actually is a factor of 320, and 64 actually is a perfect cube of 4. Okay, so 4 cubed is 64. But if you didn't notice that, we can still, so when, once we factor to this point, 40 has a perfect cube factor of 8 again. So instead of using 8 times 40, I'm going to use perfect cube of 8 times perfect cube of 8 times 5. Okay, and that's going to give me 320. And I end up with, I can take my perfect cube out here, so that's going to be 2, this is going to be 2, so we end up taking a perfect cube of 4, 4 cubed out, or in other words, a factor of 64 can come out of the perfect the cube root. So I'll write it like this, so 3, I'm going to cube root the 27, okay, so I end up with 3, times cube root of 5. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight this so you can see where it's coming from. That 27, the cube root 27 gives me the 3. Okay, so I'm going to end up with cube root of 8 and cube root of 8 again. 
Okay, so this ends up being minus 2 times 2, and I'm left with the cube root of 5. Okay, so this works out to be 2 and 2, okay, cube root 5. So once I've taken out the perfect cube factors, I can just work out my coefficient. And now I can do the counting part of it, or combining like radicals. So I have six cube root fives. I have four cube root fives. I'm going to take away from sorry from I have nine cube root fives, and I'm going to take away four cube root fives. So I'm counting cube root fives, and I'm going to have five of them. Okay, so four minus nine gives me cube root five. So there's my simplified version where I've combined the like radicals. So again, we'll do the same thing here. We're dealing with cube root, or sorry, square root. So we're going to take out our perfect squares. So I'm going to write this as 16 x4. That's a perfect square. And I'm left with 2x. Here I've got a perfect square of 25. And I'm left with 2x as my other factor. So the perfect square parts can come out. It's 4x squared. You know, just highlight that so you can see where that's coming from. That's when I square root 16 to the power 4. Uh, sorry, 16x to the power 4. I get 4x squared. And I'm left with square root 2x. Square root 25 is 5. And I'm left with square root 2x. Okay, so here, this is the number of square root 2x's I have. Here I have 5 square root 2x's. Well, these, although I, I know that this is how many of them are, I don't know what x is. So when I combine those, when I add 4x squared minus 5, I have to keep that together. That's the counting parts of it. So 4x squared minus 5. And that the I have to make sure that I put it into groups here, so I'm counting square root two x's. Okay, so the number parts, since they are not like terms, I cannot add them together or subtract them. In this case, so I have to keep it like that. So that's the groups of square root two x's that I end up having. Okay, so we have to kind of keep track and make sure we're thinking about what are all, all these algebraic parts are. And that's the big thing, make sure that we kind of understand what's inside the radical, what's outside the radical, and how we count up the radical parts. We consider these as like terms, these square root 2x is like terms. So these parts I've highlighted, the 5 and the 4x squared represents the counters of the square root 2x. And again, that's 25. Gave, square root 25 gave us a 5 here. So for this one, again, we since it's a cube root, we're looking for perfect cube factors. Okay, so 27 is a perfect cube, so I'm going to write this as 27. x to the power 6 is a perfect cube as well. So I'm going to factor that out. So what I'm going to be left with is 27 times 3 is 81. For the x7, I need x6 and x1. And then we have the extra y. So there is my perfect cube part I'm just going to highlight. So this is a part I'm going to take out of the radical. Plus 5. And again, I'm looking for perfect cube parts. Y note 8 is a perfect cube. Y cubed is a perfect cube. So there's my perfect cube parts. I'm left with X, Y. Okay, so those are my, uh, sorry, this is going to be 3X, Y, isn't it? So 8, I've got to take out the factor of 8. So I'm left with 3, I'm left with X, and left with Y. So again, I'll highlight the perfect cube part here. So those parts are going to come outside. So our cube root of 27 is 3. The cube root of x to the power of 6 is x squared. 
and what's left is the cube root of 3xy. Okay, so this is a part that came out of the radical. Plus 5. When I cube root the 8y cubed, I'm left with 2y. And what's left inside the radical is 3xy. Okay, so this is a part that came out of the cube root. Okay, so now I have like radicals. These radicals are exactly the same. This, the, the highlighted in yellow represents the counter. Okay, it's in fact the five times two y represents the counter. So I'm gonna first of all simplify this expression over here. So I end up with three x squared cube root three x y plus 10 y cube root 3xy. Okay, so since there is my like radical here and here, we're going to then add those together and express them with as the cube root of 3xy. So we end up with 3x squared plus 10y. That's how many I have and write this as three cube root of three x y. That's how many, that's the term that I'm counting with the three x squared and the plus 10 y's. Okay, so I'll just circle that. You can see that those, these are the parts I'm counting. Those are the, my coefficients. So I can add my coefficients to describe how many of those I have.